Now, there are certain reasons we're drawn to sports in the first place. One of the big ones is we love watching people try and overcome obstacles, whether it's a tough team to beat in a rivalry, some time barrier, or just plain tough circumstances. Originally, the American sporting public was drawn by Greg LeMond into the sport because not only did he win the Tour de France, but he won it again when bullets riddled his body. Then some years later, it was Lance Armstrong, overcoming a debilitating form of testicular cancer to win this great race seven consecutive times, as we know now. Now a new chapter being written by another. American, Saul Raisin, who not only overcame a curved spine at birth, but a horrific crash. He'll join us in a moment, but here's his journey to date. I've been told I crashed on gravel on the road. Basically, I found myself on a private airline flying back to the USA, like on a stretcher. I couldn't move my left side, my left side was paralyzed. I say uh, a good four weeks in hospital land, I didn't understand what happened to me. And then one day, I got on the internet, and I clicked news, and popped up, and it said, CNN headline news, saw Raisin crashed and was in a coma. I had emergency brain surgery, and that's the first time I realized what happened to me, and I just broke down crying on the computer because I realized what I put my parents through, my friends, and it hurt. But my first neurological exam was horrific. I started making gradual improvements. I was flying on, on the terms of brain injury. I was walking. They thought I'd be in a wheelchair the rest of my life. I started moving my left side again. They said I'd never move that again. You know, I started making big improvements. And one day in therapy, they put me on a home trainer, a stationary bike. And that's the first time I thought, you know, maybe I can ride bikes again, you know? When I got out of the hospital, I went home and I started riding the home trainer every hour after therapy. So that's when I first thought, hey, I'm going to get back on my bike on the road. So I started getting stronger and stronger, and, and when I did my last versus interview, I told the journalist, I said, my next big step is I'm going to ride my bike on the road. Well, it just so happened the last day of the Tour de France, after Tour Kusov, my teammate, won the stage, he called me, and he said, Saul, we're drinking a glass of champagne in our name. He said, we won the stage together. I carried you across the line on my wrist. You know, that sent me over the edge, you know, but that's the words of encouragement that helped give me motivation. But that same day, I rode my bike on the road for the first time. And I did something that what many people thought was impossible. You know, and I think cycling really, as far as physically, you know, it helped me tremendously. But I think cycling really, you know, it made me fight all my problems. Not only now, at this point, can I live a normal life, I do have the possibility I can uh, race bicycles again. And, you know, I want to get back to the world and help others, and I want to show people you can do anything. How do you not root for that? With Dave Shields, Saul Raisin's written a new book. It's called Tour de Life, From Coma to Competition, and he joins us now. Saul, quite simply, how did you overcome the why me episode that a lot of people go through? Um, you know, I really couldn't have done it without my support of my friends and family, you know, like uh, the support I got from my team, you know, all my friends, you know, was amazing. You know, just having Bob Roll here wearing one of my Raisin Hell bracelets, you know, that's support that makes me want to get back, you know, and show people, you know, you can't overcome the impossible. And, you know, that's how I did it. You know, I always had people support me to help me, my friends, my family, my parents, you know, and that's the biggest reason that I'm probably back to where I'm at to this day. I've heard through the grapevine that you're pretty strong on the bike and you're doing quite a lot of miles. How's the training going right now? Oh, I'm doing amazing. You know, I just um, had a physical testing with my team. You know, I passed with flying colors. And, uh, no, but training's going awesome. And, you know, my team gave me clearance to do the U.S. Pro Time Trial Championship. So that'll be my first big, official first big race back. So. As you sit here wearing the Crate Agricole shirt and you sit here in the middle of the Tour de France, one year from now, do you think you're in the race? Um, yeah, you know, I... Um, that's my goal, you know, I want to give back and I want to do the Tour de France and, you know, I want to win it, so, yeah, I want to do it. It's not easy to do that, though, right, Bob? No, that's a long, hard road to hoe, but yeah. we have a good man, maybe the next American Tour winner sitting right here. <laughs>